Today we're going to talk about the difference between El Nino and La Nina. It's the temperature water west of South America in the Pacific. So El Nino is warmer than water, warmer than average waters there west of South America because of the trade winds being weaker than average. So you have less water from the underneath the cooler water coming up because it all sits on the top. Temperatures for Oklahoma, typically these both affect us stronger during the winter months than the summer months. So in the winter months, we're usually colder and a little bit wetter at times with the El Nino, which produces typically above average snowfall for us. La Nina, the water's cooler than average west of South America in the Pacific because of the stronger trade winds that are blowing from east to west. It's removing that warm waters from the surface and letting that colder water bubble up towards the surface. So it typically colder water, warmer and drier because of the jet stream weather systems don't usually come in across the southern plains because of the configuration of the jet stream. So gen generally we deal with warmer and drier weather and again would produce below average snowfall. So here's the typical El Nino pattern jet stream to the north, but here's cross Pacific. Those strong currents and those trade winds blowing it from east to west are a little stronger and then the trade winds here for La Nina are stronger. So they're blowing that water from east to west and you get upwelling for the colder waters. OK, so how does it affect us here across the lower 48 states? El Nino jet streams well to the north. Typically we have a stronger southern jet, which brings in cooler, wetter weather here across the uh, Mexico border and sort of the Gulf of Mexico. We're kind of in between El Nino's, but sometimes again, a little bit wetter, a little bit cooler and that increased snowfall because you do see it's winter. So nonetheless, you're going to see some colder weather come in from the north and sometimes that combines with that wetter uh, type of weather pattern and that southern jet stream that we do see some bigger ice and snowstorms. Now La Nina, we have the jet stream that comes in from the north, but there's no real southern jet and this comes in from the Canadian prairies instead of the Pacific. So those weather systems are generally moisture starved until they get just east of Oklahoma into the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley and off the East Coast. So the southern half of the United States, instead of being above average for El Nino, La Nina is drier than normal and also warmer than normal because of these shots of colder air are more glancing and they really stay off towards the north and east of us. So there's the difference of that ocean water that's well south of us across the eastern Pacific still dictates our weather as we head towards typically those winter months. Now La Nina storm setup that again close to us that we could see some uh, storm systems. But again, it's generally off towards our east. And we do have that neutral pattern where it's not La Nina. It's now El Nino. It's in between or near average ocean waters there in the uh, eastern Pacific west of South America. This is typical uh, weather pattern for us as we get a little bit more colder weather than the warmer weather. And sometimes they can be a little wet as well with those what we call Alberta Clippers coming out of uh, central Canada to bring us a little bit of ice and snow. So yes, ocean waters well south of us in the eastern Pacific does dictate our weather and changes the configuration of our jet stream here across the lower 48 states. And that's the difference between El Nino and La Nina.